Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltorn, we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Wrath of the Righteous. So where we left last time, we're about to enter this way. the keep. There is a fight immediately upon entering. Uh, it's not a super... At least I don't remember, okay, I should say, I should clarify this. I don't remember it being a super hard fight, but it could be. Let's quickly save, and then we'll head in. Oh, we have a Fallen Crusader to kill first, standing in front of the door. He did not last too long, and uh, I'm willing to bet that that's going to suck for him in the after. Ooh, a dueling sword called Herald of Pain. Enhancement plus two, finesse wielding. And whenever they confirm a critical hit, the target becomes sickened for 1d4 rounds. Nice. Let's grab all this, including the full plate plus one. Nothing important there, nothing important there. There are apparently more enemies coming in, like a retriever here on this side. So let's just kill it. I'm not going to bother using any sort of magic yet. I think there's another one that comes down over here. Then again, I could be completely wrong and there's absolutely nothing there to deal with. Just that one retriever and that fallen paladin. Okay, so now we have the actual mini boss to do. We're going to use haste beforehand and we're just going to save here. And actually we're going to do a quick displacement and maybe actually... Okay, now we should be good. Mirror image, displacement, haste. Let's go in. The mortals are slaughtering us! How can this be? Stop talking! Fight! One blow of a monstrous fist turns the head of a demon into a bloody pulp, says Balor. Durazand. There! That's what happens to cowards! Get it together, you maggots, and we'll destroy them! Quiet! Don't make me mad! There they are! There they are! They're coming! Nura points at your unit. Nice. Uh, hey, you demons, think about it. Who are you more afraid of, him or me? Well, we failed. The demons look cautiously at their leader and only close their ranks still further. How badly would you fail that? Uh, we rolled. We had a plus 22. We rolled a 4. Annoying, but not unsurprising. Be afraid of me too. I'm not that afraid of you, to be completely honest. We have reinforcements as well. Death to the mortals. Who's that? A land of the Hound Hearts, right? Okay. So we're gonna go straight in against the demon. Babows are just Babows, and I don't really care too much about them. The other people can handle that. We are laying waste to this Balor. Um, do we have Bless on? We do. Do we have Prayer, though? No. I don't know if it's going to matter. He might be dead before this even happens. That hurt. A lot. And we're just going to go ahead and top our people up. Why is the thing not dead yet? Oh, it's almost dead. There we go. says hello. Sweet dreams, demon. You little runt. You and Willowdust will regret this. I'll find you and shove your entrails down your throat. Damn it. The dagger was supposed to kill him on the spot. Well, you had a bad dagger. In our tactics. All right, well, Firestorm Wherever appears to be wearing off. Me. We're fine. More or less. Oh, we we'll do another, one pets. more quick heal. Uh, one of our pets is dead. We're going to probably have to rest before going into the port. That's fine. We have supplies here that we can use. Let's talk to Graybor. A dark-haired dwarf, panting, shoots you a look filled with indignation and disappointment. However, he manages to compose himself, and his voice sounds polite, if a little morose. Greetings. Funny meeting anyone here. Who are you? Graybor, elite assassin. I'm a professional who hunts down the most dangerous prey of all. As you can see, sometimes order bring me to the very unusual places. I want to know more about you. The dwarf seems surprised. You like chatting in the heat of battle, do you? Apologies, but I prefer conversing in calmer settings. Maybe we can talk after the fight if you survive. Why did you attack that demon? The dwarf casts an angry look at the spot where his victim was standing, but composes himself and tries to answer politely. I've been paid for his head. Were you really going to kill a baller with a dagger? Your words vex the dwarf. Eyes blazing with irritation, he answers you in a stern and hostile tone. I think again before laughing at me and questioning my competence, clearly the dagger was charmed. It was supposed to take Darazan's life almost instantly, but 
The one who gave me that weapon bungled things somehow, and my quarry was able to escape. Damn it. I'm not laughing at you, I'm admiring you. That was a spectacular entrance. The dwarf bows his head politely. Who's your client? I'm afraid that's confidential. As a professional, I'm obliged to keep my client's name secret. But for me, grinning the dwarf answers somewhat arrogantly. I'm not sure you can afford my services, and right now you'd be better off with a unit of infantry than an expensive loner like me. Well, there's no time for chatting. The dwarf shrugs and takes a long pipe out of his pocket. Apparently the chaos around you doesn't stop him from enjoying some fine tobacco. I'm not sure you have anywhere to rush to. The gates are blocked, and it would take you an eternity to clear the rocks away. It's unlikely you'll be going any further than this courtyard for the foreseeable future. The dwarf permits himself a dramatic pause. Unless you're insane enough to enter the small number of companions, there are several passages to the fortress on the walls meant for archers, but they're all bottlenecks. If all your soldiers try to rush in there, the demons will slaughter them. But a small group of skilled warriors stands a chance. If they can climb the wall and enter the fortress, relying on their wit and their skills... Well, that sounds like something we're going to do, and we are nowhere close to a level, so... Let's, uh... Do a quick rest. Actually, before we do a quick rest... Oh, I don't know why I'm pausing. There's no real need to pause at this particular moment. It's not like our spells aren't gonna wear off anyways. I think that's the only per- oh no, our main character also has wisdom damage. Anyone else? Alright, well, we're all cleared up of our ability to drain... Yes, this is mirror image. Um, I'm gonna quickly clear out this courtyard, then we'll rest. In fact, I don't know if there's anything left in this courtyard to worry about. But there's a perception check, apparently. How am I supposed to loot that? Where is it? There's a loot... somewhere. Oh, the loot has vanished. Uh... huh. Well, we did do the perception check, so maybe... it'll pop up when we try and leave the area. Keep your eye out for it anyways. That was just kind of weird. Can't really do anything about it at the moment, though, so we'll see. Uh, we are gonna go up on the wall. There are gonna be some fights. I think there's mostly just Vescovores up there, if I'm not mistaken. A couple of them, at least. Which eventually will be our swarm, as we will turn into them. And in reality, apparently there's nothing up here. I'm gonna quickly just check along this wall area. No, it's just empty. Alright, well. That stair is broken, we don't have to worry about going around that side, so... Let's just rest, buff up, and we'll head in. This way. I'm a little bit sad that the uh, demon died so quickly, it was like he was practically diving to the ground, but he did one good attack, I guess, that flame strike. Time to buffs. Our Abyssal Corruption doesn't matter because we're in the midst of the fight for the place of Abyssal Corruption at the moment. Let's do some buffing. So, main character. And then pets. These spells last forever, right? Like nine hours on the mage armor. I know that this is only like nine minutes. If Blur lasted longer, I'd be a little bit happier, but here we are. I'm gonna skip, um... I don't know if we need delay poison. I'm gonna give it to our melee anyways, just in case. We can't hurt. And I think we'll do protection from evil while we're here, too. And then we'll pretty much head in. I think that'll be pretty much it. Protection from evil, protection from evil, protection from evil, and protection from evil. Good to go. Alright, we are pretty much set to head in. I don't think we need anything else. I guess we can do magic fangs. Yeah, okay, Magic Fang. Magic Fang. How long does Hurricane Bowl last? Like, forever. Why am I not using this more often? And then Maw. Did I use Maw twice? No, I'll take it. Alright, we're going in now. Who's our other pet controller? Must be Camellia and Wendwog have them, right? Yeah, because it's her cleric domain that I gave her. Just so we get an extra pet. Alright, let's take a quick look for loot. 
that we may or may not have missed by finding it and being unable to click on it. Oh, there's a ton of Incubus Masterwork Scimitars just kicking around. And some healing potions we will eventually chug. Just when we run out of healing, we'll just use like 30 of them on one character. Nothing, nothing. Oh, yes. Stuff. Just gotta make sure that those are the right ones and not just normal longswords. Which are useless. Whoop. Look at all these pure moderate potions, too. Just an armory worth of things down here. Those are just Brimoraks. They have normal swords, I think. We're gonna have so much money worth of masterwork weapons. But I'm not finding that loot thing that we had. Nope. If there was a spare loot in there, I didn't see it, so... So we'll just hope for the best. Let's go to the dungeons. I remember this fight being kind of annoying. Actually, I actually remember this whole area kind of being a little bit annoying. But we'll, we'll get it. It'll be fine. I remember there being lots of traps and lots of choke points. In fact, our first trap we just found seconds into walking into this place. I hope you appreciate this. Right. There's a debuff I think we get from going in here. Uh, what's it called? Maybe we don't get a debuff? Outflank. Unrelenting Assault. Crane Cell. Maybe Unrelenting Assault's not good for us. Eventually we'll probably replace that. I'm not seeing any sort of debuffs, so let's just move on. Something just happened. Charisma damage from unknown sources. Whispers of Madness, that's what it's called. Save the last one for me. We have to be careful of that, because if we uh, take too much charisma damage, would someone kill that thing so we can move down this thing? Okay, all our archers now. That one fell down, but isn't dead. Come on, someone kill it. Alright. Uh, we can cast Restoration on people to make sure they don't instantly die. But instantly die. They're not going to die in like a second. But what will happen is they'll gradually lose Charisma over time and then drop dead when they hit zero. Which is weird because you would think that Charisma is not really an ability that if you lost all of it, you would die. Maybe you don't die from it. I know you die if you get to like zero dex and zero strength because your body is basically unkeep or incapable of moving or surviving. And intelligence, I think you just are unable to like breathe. You forget how to breathe and you just choke on your own lungs. Something like that anyways. A gruesome end. But I'm not really sure what zero charisma would do. I used to have a table that told me what they all did. Some of them are pretty funny. Maybe I'll see if I can find it for later on. Master Great X, normal quarter stuff. Grab that, don't go grab that, grab that, grab that. Just take all those, and we'll take all those, and we will take all those. And do we want all these? Sure. Do we want all that? Yeah, why not? There's a small hole here in the wall that we have to go through. And we found Yaniel. An old woman half elf by her appearance hangs limply in the shackles. Her head is slumped down to her chest, and strands of dirty gray hair cover her face. Her rags don't conceal the poor woman's horrible condition. Her body is covered in old scars and fresh wounds. A piece of flesh has been torn from her left leg, and there are numerous fang marks on her arms. Her right wrist appears to have been gnawed, and the hand has withered. It's hard to believe that life still lingers in such a mutilated body, but the woman raises her head with effort. Clear blue eyes stare back at you from under her gray eyelashes. Crusaders? Here? I thought I was delirious when I heard the sounds of battle. After so many years, are we really retaking Dresden? Who are you? How did you end up here? My name won't mean anything to you. It's been so many years. My name is Yaniel. I used to be a knight of the Citadel, when Dresden was still a proud crusader stronghold. On the day Dresden fell, I was covering the refugee retreat. Alas, I was taken alive by the spawn of the abyss that fl as they flooded the city. Ever since then, I've been locked up here, within these walls that were once my home, and now a prison and a torture chamber. The woman drops her head heavily to her chest. Yaniel! Why, that name is remembered throughout Mendev to this day. Friends, we are in the presence of a living legend, or rather, a half-living one. I'm impressed by your resilience, knight. 
I wonder if I could keep my mind in self-control after so many years of torture. It's a serious question. Are you feeling quite well, Paralictor? That's an awfully bold confession for you. The gnome pays no attention to the Osimar's barbed comment. Yaniel? Yaniel herself? You don't know me, although I didn't mind meeting you. But I went to your memorial service. It was painful for everyone, but your memory brought people together. Many say that we can't give up because Yaniel didn't give up until the end. So this is not all in vain. Only I thought you were younger. I have no idea who this is. The name of this woman must not be important enough for me to remember her. You are a well-remembered, Yaniel. Those who you saved made your name a legend. I have your sword, Radiance, with me, and I wish to return it to you. The old woman listen listens to you, slightly tilting her head, but winces when you hand her the sword. She looks down at her mutilated, shriveled hand. I have no way to hold this sword. My time has passed. Let's serve new heroes. It would only be a bitter reminder of the past in my hands. Um... So you saw a Dresden before its fall, and the Sword of Valor, and the days of the First Crusade? Oh yes, I saw all that. The woman smiles a strange smile. The walls of the citadel seemed indestructible, like mountains. But they were not Dresden's true defenses, the sword was. It alone weakened the demons, and stopped them from teleporting here freely. It gave the defenders hope. So it was, until the ambitious and arrogant young Staunton brought the city to ruin. He stole the banner and doomed Dresden to fall. Staunton was once a strong fighter, the bane of demons. But he became the executioner of his comrades. Such things happen. I've seen this Staunton, a spineless weakling he is. It wasn't his arrogance that led him to ruin, it was his weakness and willingness to lick the boots of anyone who demanded it. Strange to hear a boot licking from someone who can't get enough of her master's boots. How are you better than Staunton? It's an honor to serve an honorable master. I serve the best of the best, but Staunton would grovel before any riffraff. Don't, com don't dare compare me to him. Do you know where the Sword of Valor is? The woman closes her eyes. I can feel its presence. Even now, when the sword is weak and dormant, it is near in this very citadel. There's a passage from my prison to it. Keep going through the dungeon and you'll find the banner. Why did the demons do all this to you? The woman closes her eyes and speaks pensively in a measured, introspective manner. The demons. If you think about it, they're interesting creatures. They appeared when mortal souls touched the fabric of the abyss, and they always carry it with them, the imprint of humanity. It is distorted, but visible. You might expect entirely humane, inhumane thought and action from the spawn of the plane of the primal chaos, but in fact, they are often mundane and relatable. And one of their manifestations of this deep humanity is the demon's love of trophies. I am one such trophy, a living reminder of the day they washed over the strongest crusader fortress like a tidal wave and turned it into their den. We're gonna leave her here. I don't care about you, old woman. The woman's blue eyes are indifferent and lifeless. It's your decision, and it may have consequences. You performed an evil action. Yes, we have. I'm sure there'll be some consequences for that in the future. But not for now. There's also an athletics check we're gonna do here. 28 DC, and we failed it, I think. Because why would we want to succeed at a really... I guess it's not that easy of a check, but now we have to do saving throws. Fenrir and Lupa both failed. So let's get some more restorations out. We're gonna save before we try that again, just in case we fail again. I guess it is a 10 check. So it's a 50-50 check. Which for us is like, we're gonna fail 9 or 10 times before we succeed. There we go, we successfully passed that time. And we're gonna go in here. What do we have There's a loot, and the loot is... Defense by Offense, it's a comma, and it's plus 2 Mithril Finesse Wielding Monk Weapon. And you get plus 1 Dodge Bonus to AC. You can actually make a really good comma monk, um, if you want to. They require a lot of feats, though, to make them really, really good. And that is a trap right there. Um, Camellia has really high uh, stealth, I believe. Where are you all going? What's on your mind? Let's grab her. And, um... Try and stealth in. Why are you not coming this way? Oh, you are so slow now. Just go up here first. Okay. So there is a babao there, just chilling in the hall. There's two of them actually, but luckily our stealth check is er, our stealth check is pretty high, so I don't think they saw us. No, it doesn't matter because we're coming in, and we're gonna blast them to pieces. As the bermarek actually cast, oh, it's an evoker. Never mind. Uh, let's just go. Screw the bermareks. I don't care about them. Okay, this is fine now. Why is our main character not moving? Why is your character- or poor dog died again. 
I didn't die die, but it is hurt. Let's heal it. The Cure series was actually really good. Those are both really good. Alright. That was my not my cleanest fight, to be completely honest. That was pretty garbage, to be fair. Masterwork Felchin. Uh, does the Evoker have a Masterwork Dagger? He sure does, even though it's kind of pointless, because if an Evoker is stabbing things with a dagger, something has gone terribly wrong in its life. Uh, there are so many ways to go in here. Alright, let's go take a look at some places. I think this is the correct quote-unquote way to go. Uh, we have failed four perception checks. I'm going to save before moving forward now, in case we that? fail with everyone else. We didn't. There's a lock on this, or a trap on this chest. Camellia should be able to handle it. I hope you appreciate and then this. also open the lock. I am helpful. There is a, a headband of mental flow, which gives intelligence and charisma. That's pretty nice. I'm actually kind of tempted to give that to him. Adventure. Yeah, he'll lose his fire resistance, but I don't care. Honestly. If we give this to him, uh, he gets intelligence, which is good for Magus's, and charisma, which is good for his monk abilities. What monk abilities he has. So, What's in wait for there we go. There, uh, so, if we go up here, we can see... We, I think we can look down over the room. Kind of. Not really. Anyways, the fake sword is over there. Oh, we can... There we go. We just hit this button, and we can see it. This is not the real sword. We're going to come this way because there's lots of traps and experience to gain by killing all the minotaurs and stuff, but it is not the actual one. The actual one is a different direction, and we're going to go both ways. So we can, you know, experience the full extent of this nightmarish place. There's also a puzzle later on we're going to have to do, and I am really bad at that particular type of puzzle. So it's going to take a little bit of time to deal with. Oh, there's a minotaur. That poor minotaur. He got knocked down, and now he's just dead. Once the minotaur gets knocked down, it's all over. It's never going to be able to recover its feet before I kill it. It's just straight up death. I hope you appreciate this. That's a corruption shrine thing. Alright, well, let's... Oh, it's a dead crusader. The remains of the unknown warrior exude a holy aura. His death at the hands of the demons was a martyr's death. There's also a knowledge arcana. We're going to save before doing it. Because it might fail. The pain and fear of the people who died here are powering an evil magic which fills the citadel with whispers of madness. Fervent whispering is concentrated around this stone. A multitude of voices whisper prayers to several gods. Once both... I can't see for that. Uh, once... At once, both the perished and the living. A crude inscription on the stone reads, Pray with us. Fervent whispering is con concentrated around the stone, and we'll do oh, it's the same thing. Oh, no, it says, Talk to us. So, talk to us instead of uh, pray with us, and then also repeat after us. There are three different checks to do. Let's do the knowledge world check first. Worked good. We're going to save it and do the next one. Knowledge Arcana 25. Success also advice. successful. The knowledge thir or the lore 30 is the one that I'm a little bit worried about. And that's why. Negative levels are not fun. I'm not going to deal with them right now. We'll just try again. <laughs> Stupid thing. I see blood. Blood! <laughs> I wonder if that spawns endless specters. I might have bugged them out by making so many that they can't move. That is amazing. Do they give experience? They don't. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and kill endless specters that didn't give experience, but that's pretty funny. You can bug them out. If they gave experience, that'd be quite the bug. I would literally summon hundreds of them and just kill them. What the hell is my religion check? Oh, wait. Regil got it. Well, it says he got it. But he definitely didn't... Oh, he got the religion check for what the specters are. What is his religion check? Nine. So she needs to roll a 17. That's really high. We kind of need to get rid of it, so... We'll try again. Try a few more times. We just need a 17 or above, which is really, really high, actually. We just need to get lucky once. Which is never going to happen for us. We get such garbage rolls on skill checks. 
and attack rolls and damage rolls. <laughs> How many attempts are we gonna give this? Let's give this like four more attempts. It does get rid of the madness though, that's kind of important. It worked! Yes, it finally worked! I'm the best at reloading. Also, we get a ton of experience for doing so, so it's actually worth, really worth doing. And we got rid of the madness debuff now. Kind of important, to be fair. Uh, there's a trap here. Where's the... Oh, it's over there. I am helpful. I'm gonna go this way really quickly. I think that main hallway leads somewhere, but I think it leads to the main sword of whatever area. Okay, let's save. There's a perception check here that everyone's failing. Literally everyone failed. What is the DC on it? 32, holy crap, that's actually a really high DC. Now, what is oh, this someone got it. That's all that matters. Make a fine oh, trophy. this is a terrible thing to have happen right now. Okay, this is... This is okay. Burn! Slice! Um, Behead! Oh, Elthmore got dominated. We're gonna die. Luckily we saved. Okay, so we don't need to worry about finding that hidden door. It will invariably come out on its own. We need to watch out for Dominate. That's uh, a rough ability. Okay. Well, we got it this time again. Okay. So. I'm always open to ideas. We're gonna do. Nav, air, automa. Actually, you know what we might do. Anything new? You come back here. Um. I'm gonna put you like here. And then I'm going to haste, jam everyone over there, right? I'm going to put the Hungry Pit here. And then hope that everyone falls into it. Okay, that's what we'll do. We're going to try it out. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Our whole group falls into the pit and dies. Alright. I need all of you just to come here. This way, the but you, calls me. you, I'll take the bait. you specifically attack. Oh wait, where's Rigel? You can also attack. You require my counsel. But everyone else needs to like run all the way over here, except for you. Ready to move you out? are gonna cast the pit. Great. I wonder how fast this casts. Ah. Uh, okay. How about like right there? I see blood. No. Oh no. They stopped running. Keep running. No, I didn't mean to grab you. Frick, this is not going the way I was hoping it was gonna go. Okay, this is fine. Go. Yes, it worked. Okay, uh, let's turn AI off. Oh, they're not coming in. They're just casting Dominate from a distance. No! This is not what I was hoping would have happened. Okay. Maybe we should have cast it into the room. I wonder if we could have done that. We just killed our own group with Dominate, so that's not exactly what we want to do. Okay. Huh? Oh, Let's try that one more time. Yes, so I'm gonna cast the spell so it actually like tries to loop into the door. I think it'll be. I think it'll work. Maybe. We'll try. Okay. Um. Retreat is not we an need option. to make sure that you, you, and you. I wish I could put you on control groups. You require my unbiased heal. Make a fine yeah. You guys keep running. You can go Kneel fight that. I don't care. Where's the last one? You, you, and you. Just go all the way over here. Now her cast this right there. Oh, don't don't run in there with them, please. You two fire. Okay, who got dominated? Let's just get everyone away from the dominated people. Lupa got dominated. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Can we get a second pit? Oh, they're all in there now. Okay. Just keep running away. That should kill them over time. 
And now we just play the waiting game. I don't know if that's actually going to work. It doesn't seem to be doing a lot of damage to them. We can also do some shadow spell stuff to them at some point. Let's cast greater invisibility on ourselves. We can we can make this interesting. They're going to come out eventually. So, in fact, there's a couple of them right now. Let's do. Something good, like Ice Storm. That is too close to where I'm standing and will kill us, probably. But then again, we do it like this. Let's prove their logic is lacking. They did not take, oh, they did take some damage. It's hard to tell. Freaking dominates. All right, let's just start killing them then. We tried some fun stuff. It didn't work as well as I had hoped. Let's just kill them as fast as possible. Is this one just blocking the path? I wonder what lies beyond. you run. I think dead yet. No. Weird. Um, I guess we'll start casting some heal. There's still more of these things. Oh, Darren just died. Okay. All right. We tried to be silly. It didn't work out. Let's just go kill them all. What we'll do is we will split our group a little. Or we can go into the door and just start killing them all. Try and kill them as fast as possible. Where do you want they cast to dominate so fast, though. I, wonder. I don't think we have anything that's like mind blank or anything along those best. lines yet either. The road calls me. It's fine. I'll take the bait. Let's go like this. Okay. We're just gonna set one person on the actual boss, and everyone else is gonna go fight everything else. Quick, quick! Sorry, Sorry. So you, 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 and not you, but you. Save the last one for me. Burn. Slice. One. Two. Out of my sight. Kill them. Three, four. All right, done. Now we gotta kill the big guy, the actual one. I wonder who's left. Both. Who's left? Not dominated. Wendwog is dominated. And so is Camellia, which is a little annoying. Let's we'll just get away from them until they undominate themselves. They'll wear off. Or they'll follow us forever. Nope, there we go. One of them stopped. And there's their will saves. Good. Everyone's fine now. So, after all the fun and games of blowing things up with spells that were very ineffective, in the end, it's easier just to murder the hope of them as fast as possible. Because dominate is... Kind of annoying. What is that? The wall in this place looks fragile. Athletics 28. DC. There's a ghastly stench coming through the tiny cracks. We'll go through there in a sec. But first, let's finish hiccuping to start with and also looting the room. Alright. So, what's this bookshelf say? There are old, ragged books in rare languages on the shelf. Some of them are bound in leather, and it doesn't look like calfskin. Gross. Did we succeed at our check? Yes. There's a trap. What a shocker. This way. Camellia, go deal with that. I hope you appreciate this. Is there a vampire? There could be a vampire. Let's open some stuff first. I am helpful, am I not? Ooh, a buckler. It is the eluding target. Plus two dodge bonus to AC against attacks with 200 weapons. Interesting. Let's grab all the rest of the stuff. Uh, we're going to grab the loot. And the loot was a tail sting. Oh, it's just a reagent. All right. No secrets can escape. The vampire rises as he meets his final death. We didn't get a chance to, like, not kill him. 
plus two necrotic rapier whenever he casts vampiric touch it deals 1d8 damage instead of 1d6 it's actually a pretty nice thing for a rapier wielding magus who uses vampiric touch a lot which can be really good me. honestly but we're gonna call it here we're at a pretty good spot in the video like always if you have any suggestions or comments please leave them below otherwise i'll see you next time take care